disaster and turmoil and tribulation. Where will God's people be? They'll be the same place Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were. They'll be in that fiery furnace in the midst of it. Where will God's people be? The same place the Israelites were in Egypt during the plagues. Where will God's people be? They will be going through the plagues, but they will be singing God's praise. A thousand will fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come nigh thee. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will we not fear that the mountains be cast into the midst of the sea. Where will God's people be hanging on? Where will God's people be trusting? Where will God's people be believing? Where will God's people be lifting up the hand of faith higher and higher and still higher? And what about the wicked? They will be afflicted with the plagues. They will be tormented by the plagues. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 24 and verse 30 that those that do not know Christ will not have the privilege of being protected by Christ. Because the Bible says, Matthew chapter 24, in verse 30, here it is, Matthew 24, verse 30, all the tribes of the earth will mourn, while one group looks up to see Jesus come. And while one group, group rejoices that he's coming, the other group that's been afflicted by the plagues turns away in horror. They turn away in agony. They run. They cry for the rocks and mountains to fall on them. Think of what that's going to be like. A wife caught up without her husband. A husband caught up without his wife. Think of what it's going to be like. A man, we'll call him John, sees Jesus coming. He's been witnessing to his wife. He's been loving his wife. He's wanted her to come. But the nightclub scene has attracted her. The scenes of this world have attracted her. Alcohol has attracted her, parties have attracted her. And he weeps as he sees Jesus come. He says, Lord, you're coming. And he's caught up to meet Christ in the sky. But she is lost, lost forever. You see, friend, when Jesus comes, the final destiny of the entire human race is settled. The Christ that died for you on Calvary's cross, the Christ that reached out his hands and were crucified for you, the Christ upon whose head the crown of thorns was placed for you, the Christ who took the spear in his side for you, the same Christ that taught those disciples that it is this Christ in all of his splendor, in all of his glory, in all of his love that is coming for you coming to save you. He's coming to redeem you. He's coming because he wants you at home with him forever. There is no second chance. There is no second opportunity. There is no opportunity during those plagues. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to commit your life Christ. Today is the day to surrender totally and completely for him. This is no time for an easygoing faith. This is no time for some gospel that says, just believe and you'll be delivered from trouble. Just believe and you'll be delivered from difficulty. Just believe and you'll never have any trials or tribulation in your life. This is a time for strong faith. This is a time for courageous faith. This is a time for steadfast faith. This is a time for immovable faith. This is a day to trust Christ now. Look, friend, you have some trials in your life now. And you're saying, oh, poor me, poor me. I've got trials. I've got trials in my life. Look, God is training you to trust him in the time of trouble. How do you train a person to lift heavy weights? By getting to lift a little few weights now. If you have some trials in your life, praise God, lift the hand of faith higher and higher today and trust him. Trust him today. Trust him through the time of trouble. Trust him that he'll protect you. Trust him that he'll be by your side because he is worthy to be trusted. He is coming again for you. You can believe that in the trials of your life. You can trust him as we pray. Oh, my father, teach us to trust you today. Teach us today to have faith in you. 
and teach us to trust you now and forever in the trials of our lives, to know that you're there. In Jesus' name, amen.